So 2017 mm -hmm. is soon to be so last year. So I'm excited about 2018. I've been thinking about some of the web features that are going to be discussed or specced or sort of landing mm -hmm. around then. And I want to, to try and describe one of them to you in two minutes. You can ask me questions. My subject is transform streams. Transform streams is we have readable stream and writable stream. Yes. What so is it? Re transform stream. Well, a readable stream, right, is a thing you can create and like data comes out of it, right? You can read from it. it. You can read from it. You can see where the name comes from. Writable stream, right? You can write to it. Amazing. There's nothing. Nothing comes out. It's just a kind of like end point. Where does it go? Well, when you define the writable, you can get access to the stuff that, oh. that comes out of it. But but you know, generally, you define the other side with code. Yes. Okay. Whereas a transform stream, it's actually like the, the object you get is pretty simple. It's just an object with a readable and a writable. So it's both. Yes. It's one object that has both on. And it, like, the, you have an object where dot readable is literally a readable stream, dot writable literally okay. a writable stream, and stuff goes into the writable, and comes out the readable, usually changed in some way. And you can define how this change is happening. Yes. So there's a constructor for it, like a new transform stream, and you pass in uh, the sort of details of how to mm. do buffering and such, okay. uh, and then you have a function that receives chunks of data in, and you can push. So of data basically, out. in the middle. Transforms the data exactly. Amazing, and, and this is like, but this is, this is a kind of huge thing for the web because it's what we can start defining a lot of platform le level features mm -hmm. on. Like, because there's, there's loads of stuff in the browser that we don't have access to, like uh, gzip. All browsers do it. I guess it, I guess it's a transform. Yeah, you put in clear text, and out comes compressed. Well, I, it'll probably be bytes. I meant um, I meant clear text in the you know it's it's clear bytes and outcome compressed bytes. Oh fine, okay, fair <laughs> enough. Uh, but also things like uh, image compression because like yeah. all browsers do this for canvas. So you know what if we could push bytes in, get bytes out? RTC has video codecs, the same business. So this should expose all of that to the platform. That would be so good. Twenty eighteen, exciting. Go, workers. I'm aware of them. They're existing. They have been existing for a long time. But yes. I think we need to start using them.